This man, Tony Busby, says he represents 120 new accusers alleging that Sean Diddy Combs did something to them. But I have a lot of questions. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the lawyer known as Tony Busby from Texas, who says he represents 120 new accusers alleging that Sean Diddy Combs, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, a.k.a. Puff, I'm going to call him Puff, but they say that that man did something to them. Now, I'm not really sure when each individual person says that something happened. I'm not sure what the nature of each case is, but there's allegedly minors involved. A lot of big Hollywood entertainment industry names that have not been named yet that could be named. There's a lot going on. Now, first of all, before we get to the video, I just want to say one thing. I'm skeptical. And as a matter of fact, let me just show you what's still framed from the video. The first thing that jumped out to me was this backdrop. This is outrageous. Step and repeat, a big 1-800 number, your law firm and whatnot on the back. This is nakedly self-promotion. That's all that it is from this right here. Now, I don't know everybody's story. I don't know if the 120 people, whether they be men, women, children, whatever, I don't know if they're all telling the truth. But what I do recognize is a grift when I see it. Oh, yeah, it's big money. Let me tell you what I think is going on before we get to the video. What I think is happening is they see Puff as a wounded animal getting locked up by the feds. A lot of money can be extracted from him. So it's like, okay. I'm going to file a claim, whether it be true or false, to get money. It's not even about the criminal part. It's just about getting money because these are all civil cases, no criminal cases. Now, Busby is a well-known lawyer out there, I believe, in Houston, Texas. He was behind the whole Deshaun Watson kerfuffle. Remember that? Now, Deshaun Watson, I'm not a football watcher too much anymore, but NFL football player, there were, what, about 20 women who accused him of some kind of sexual misconduct, harassment, assault, or whatever the specific allegation was. He had to pay between 33 and $35 million to the women. And I think the claims were like $1.5 to $2 million for each woman, something like that. Okay, now, there was no criminal action. Here's my question. If you're a young guy and you're accused of some kind of assault, statute of limitations should still be in effect. So if that's going on, then why is there no criminal action behind them? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But also Busby was behind some other litigation against, I think, energy companies, maybe an oil spill. Uh, he represented Ken Paxton out there in Texas. I think he did a good job with that. I don't know. But what I'm seeing right here is, is a pure grift. That's, that's what I'm seeing from the beginning and again. I don't know everyone's story. I don't know whether they're telling the truth, whether they're lying. I don't know. I'm just letting you know what it looks like from this. Do I think Puff Daddy has done a lot of things and should get locked up? Yes, of course. But I think this is just the vultures coming to pick up at the carcass. That's what I think is going on. But before I go any further, let's get to the actual clip. And of course, I will link to this in the box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Many of you came here thinking or hoping or perhaps uh, believing that I may start naming names. Well, that day will come, but it won't be today. The day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs. And there's a lot of names. Um, it's a long list already. And of course, I already know who some of these individuals are. But because of the nature of this case... We're going to make damn sure, damn sure that we're right before we do that. Uh, but the now, again, let's just remember, let's just be on the same page with each other, shall we? This is no criminal allegations. This, this is all civil. You're talking about naming names and all, it, like, you need to be trying to get somebody in the penitentiary to make big rocks to little rather than just trying to get some money, which is what's happening right here. This whole press conference is about getting some money from Puff Daddy. Names that we're going to name, assuming that our investigators confirm and corroborate what we've been told, are names that will shock you. These are individual cases. There are indeed other perpetrators involved. 
They will be revealed when that particular individual case is ready to be filed. They already know who they are. And I'm talking here about not just the cowardly but complicit bystanders. That is, those people that we know watched this behavior occur and did nothing. And I'm talking about the people that participated, encouraged it, egged it on. My question is, why do we have a Texas lawyer involved? They said that up to between, what, two to 3,000 people contacted him. How? Why, why would they contact Tony Busby in Houston, Texas for something that allegedly could have happened in New York City with Puff at a party in 1997? I don't, I don't really understand. They know who they are. I call them the facilitators of foul play, willing participants in vile conduct. As we identify them, each will be part of this case as defendants. These defendants will not only include individuals, but would also include corporate entities who ultimately profited off of this culture and behavior. I'm looking at banks, pharmaceutical companies, hotels. We know that many of these individuals were paid cash. We know that, that many of these individuals involved, whether they were the ones being assaulted and abused or they're witnessing other people being assaulted and abused and then paid and threatened and told to leave typically paid 10 grand in cash and told to leave and then threatened as they were leaving. So in addition to Sean Combs, you should know the defendants in these cases we're gonna file will include anyone of course who engaged in the assault or exploitation, anyone who participated in such in any way, anyone who encouraged or facilitated this conduct, anyone who was in the room and watched it happen but made no effort to stop it. Any venue or venue owner who was aware of what was going on, but failed to stop it. Any individual or entity who knew about the conduct and benefited from it, but did nothing to report it or stop it. And any individual or entity who covered it up or helped cover it up. These people who know who they are should just come forward now. I would imagine as we speak here, there are a myriad of people who are very nervous. You can't hide skeletons in the closet forever. I would expect there are many people out there right now who are, who are desperately searching their memories as they delete their text and data. Now, although these are in fact individual cases, there is a common theme, an MO, if you will. Typically the victim is lured into a situation where he or she is given a drink. Typically that drink uh, reported by these victims is- Bro, you're talking about people getting drugged and assaulted. You need to be talking about criminal. Again, I'm gonna keep repeating myself just to drop the point home. These are some very serious allegations. You're talking about minors, cause he did bring up minors and a longer version of this, which is like 30, 45 minutes. I'll link to that in the box if you wanna see it in full. Talking about minors being involved, people getting drugged, assaulted, uh, people allowing it to happen, making it happen. A lot of different moving parts going on here, but there's no criminal charges being brought. This is only civil. It's only civil. Here's what I think is going to happen. It's going to be the, it's going to be the Deshaun Watson formula. Okay. Let's get 20 women to come together to say that you did X, Y, and Z. And what we're going to do, we're going to press him for a settlement. I'll take my 33% off the top or whatever he takes for his cut because I'm sure these are all pro bono cases. 120 people, all pro bono cases. And once the settlement check hits, he'll get his cut off the top and then give them the remainder. That's what it sounds like to me because that's exactly what happened with Deshaun Watson. And again... If you're going to say he did all that stuff, then why not break up all criminal charges? He ain't been locked up at all, Deshaun Watson. Now, Puff Daddy's locked up, but that's because you had the federales and whatnot investigating him. What is Tony Busby going to find out that the feds didn't know? Nothing, in my humble opinion, but I digress. It's apparently laced with something. Once that drink takes effect, the perpetrators perform all kinds of sexual acts on the victims many times passing him or her around, 
as other people watch and enjoy the show and then leave the victim ashamed, confused, injured, and wondering what happened. Okay, so there's more to that, but that's, you get the general gist of what's happening, talking about Puff Daddy is like Pill Cosby, drugging and assaulting male and female victims. Other people are complicit, corporations, hotels. And you know, one story about the hotel we could probably talk about is the whole thing with Cassie because that footage was recorded years ago, but just came out recently because the person, um, somebody was paid to keep the footage suppressed until it was not suppressed anymore. I'm not sure how it got unsuppressed, but here we are. Um, a lot of people later, a whole indictment, a whole raid of two houses later, here we are. But as I close, I want to say this. Okay. I understand that there's something that Puff did. They found some drugs. They found some guns a little bit. They got people that say he did X, Y, and Z. And I'm not trying to discount anyone's story. And even the new accusers. I don't know who's saying what, who's right, who's wrong, or what. I don't know anything about that. But what I do know is this character, Tony Busby, has a track record of doing this kind of stuff where you are a popular person, you got a bunch of money. Okay, let's do a class action. Let's get 20 women on it. Let's get a big payday. I'm going to get my cut. Y'all get yours. And then on to the next. That's what it sounds like from him. So really, my critique is more about Tony Busby rather than these individual people who I don't know. I do know about him, I don't know about them, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on Tony Busby specifically and what's going on here with his allegations against Puff? You think it's legitimate, illegitimate? Is it Deshaun Watson 2.0? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. If you get all these big allegations talking about people getting assaulted and drugged and kidnapped and minors if you get all of that going on then you need to be submitting evidence to the federales and letting them handle it and make their case bigger or to state reps in texas for, for some reason or new york give it to them why are you out here doing a press conference with a step and repeat ambulance chaser banner in the background with a 1-800 number on it bro come on this is crazy look I'm not for defending criminals. I'm not trying to even defend Puff Daddy. I say, hey, there's enough on him to have him go to the penitentiary to make bit rocks to little. This right here just seems like an add-on to try and be a vulture and pick at the dying carcass of Puff Daddy. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe peace